right, boys, let's go. Uh, I'm coming, uh, loose! <laughs> Got the only good-looking pair of legs to show. Come on. in the cookhouse at 6.30 and give you the rest of the lowdown. Okay? <laughs> quiet, everybody. Quiet, quiet. Shh. Quiet. Just a moment. Now, you all know why we're here in Europe. Back home, we didn't do so good. As a matter of fact, we didn't do anything. <laughs> they won't look at you freaks anymore even if we paid them. The only one who came around was a sheriff. Now, this is the first American carnival that ever played Germany. Nobody knows whether they're going to go for us or not. But I figure this way. We might turn into a freak novelty if we give them straight American mud show corn. So forget where you are. Play it straight to the hillbillies. Now, you talkers, you'll have to work in German. I've had translations made of all the ballyhoos. So you read them right out. And if we can't talk them in, pray them in. <laughs> He's a giant high scruple. He was worshipped as a god. Uh, outside god. By the Dyak tribe of Central Borneo, where he was captured after a terrific battle. Uh, Compt. Here we show him as a gesture and the vice Americanish of friendship to all the people in the world. Sehen Sie, meine Damen und Herren, uh, how these remarkable little ladies here uh, 
Edition uh, Wunderbaren uh, Menschen perform the their peregrine uh, competence to the gods of their fathers. Watch the perfect control. Uh, uh, control of the 200 separate and distinct muscles of the uh, 200 muscle uh, of the belly. Yeah? <laughs> Uh, 50 pennies. Only 50 pennies. Come on. Only 50 pennies, boys. And inside where it's warmer, they don't wear so many clothes. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> sir, who's next? You are? Ah, yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Shane. Step up, sucker. Thank you very much. Yes, indeed. That's all. I'll show down. I'll show down. Come back in half an hour. A half a stund. I call him, honey. You're a pretty good looking girl. So. You know what might be good for you? A little time in jail, maybe, for picking pockets. Some honest work. You could get me work. Might get your job here in the carnival. I can do anything. I'm very strong. You mean it? Come on, go see. What's your name? Willie. Willie? Willie. Oh, Willie. That's not my real name. But someone called me that one time and it stuck. My name's Joe. Joe Hamlet. How are you, buddy? Pardon me? Joe. What's the matter? I've got some information for you. I did not count your money. I think this must be yours. Thanks. Willie, remember this. Anytime you ever catch a thief, be sure and search it very thoroughly. Charlie! Charlie! 
Well, uh, looks like we're doing all right now, huh? Yeah, we're really going for that Tennessee Dutch. Oh, uh, this is Willie. Willie? Here, it looks like a girl. <laughs> I think she is. She'd like to join up with this, Charlie. Oh, now listen, Joe, I can't put everybody you pick up on the payroll. No, 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 look, this is an exception. She's gonna, uh, she's gonna teach me German. You know, to help out with the spiel. What else can she do? Now, this is serious. You can put her to work in the cookhouse, washing dishes. I will do anything, Mr. Grayson. Even a few days' work will help me. Okay. Sleep her with the hula dancers, I guess. You show up at the cookhouse at 6.30 in the morning. Thank you, Mr. Grayson. Huh? Oh, don't worry about him. He's harmless. I had him released from an asylum in Alabama. He is... No, 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 no. No, he's just a little stupid. And he's, he's a dummy. You know, he can't talk. Go back to your tent, Gruffo. Go back to your tent. Kids? Get out of here, you Tom. Close that Oh, shut up a minute. Hmm. This is Willie. She's going to stay with you a while. Baby, this is your new home. It's a minute. It's a minute. Look, uh, I've been traveling. I'm not clean. I'd be ashamed for them to see me. Is there some place I could take a bath? Sure. I, uh, I guess the only clothes you own are the ones you got on, huh? Yes. Well, I think we can find something for you. Come on. <sighs> Which one do I pull? What do you want, hot or cold? I want hot. And then pull the one on the right. Oh! Oh! Oh, it's cold. Oh, it takes a little while. Oh, oh no! Oh! Mm. Oh! Oh! You wet all over? Mm. All over. Well, let go of the chain and soak yourself. What's this? You've been kissed before. What difference does that make? If I'd been married before, would that make you want to marry me? If I'd been hurt before, would that make you want to hurt me? Mm -mm. I don't want to hurt you.
tell you only this. To me, you are different. Don't take from me. Let me care. Mm -hmm. When? When? When I've had time to think a little. a little extra to bring a pot of coffee to my tent right after the act. I'd be okay with you? Be glad to. You have sugar and cream? Black. I'm Norman and Heron. Yes, that's wonder, the wonder show, the gross colony. From a height of 110 feet, uh, I mean, uh, von einer Hure von 37 Meter springes dieser mutige man in diesen kleinen tank. Which is only six feet deep. Uh, five meter deep is. My Dorman and Heron, the Grosse Corona. And you deserve it. I saw your dive. Like it? 
Well, you're very brave, but it's frightening. <laughs> It'd probably scare me, too, if I saw it from the ground. Ooh, I've got a headache. Do you get them often? Once in a while, depends how I hit. Will you let me rub your neck for you? I, I used to be good at it. All right. Strong hands. Hard work makes strong hands. They always do hard work? Not always. Who are you? Where are you from? That's not important. Oh, that's wonderful. My headache feels better already. Thank you. It was a very quick cure. Would you mind walking across the room, please? Why? I want to see how you move, how you carry yourself. Very well. Do you mind taking off your dress? But sometimes there are phrases in English I do not understand. Did you ask me to take my dress off? Afraid of me? I'm not afraid of anyone. You know what I was thinking? Probably. You're wrong. I've been thinking lately the act might go better if I had a partner. That's all. It's just an idea. A lady partner? That's right. Can you swim? Yes. You were thinking of me? Why not? You've got good legs, good shoulders, strong hands. That's important when you're coming up. You move well, have good balance. Yes, but why do you ask me? There are many who move well. Well, if you don't want to, just say so. I, I don't really mean I don't want to. It's just that I'm scared to death just thinking about it. I know. I used to be that way myself. But I found you can do anything you make up your mind to do. Here, for the coffee. Oh, thanks. Why don't you think about it for a while? I would be able to earn a great deal of money, wouldn't I? A lot more than you're making in that cook tent. A lot more? Ah. Uh, think it over. I will. Good night. Good night. Joe. Mm. Oh. Hello. Hello. What's this? Bedside service for the great colony? Yeah. And uh, he said something tonight that I want to ask you about. Uh huh. What? He wants me to be his partner. In the diving business, he, that he'd teach me. Well, maybe, uh, maybe he's on the make for you. Oh, no. no. He's very serious. He said I'd be able to earn a lot of money. What'd you tell him? Well, I said I'd leave uh, a little time to think about it. I thought I'd better ask you first. Ask me? Why? See whether you mind it or not. Mind it? Maybe you've been overdue for a good break. You think I'd stand in your way? No, no, no. I know you wouldn't, but it's very dangerous, you know. Ah. I'm afraid. Look, people, people get killed every day in the bathtub. Anything's dangerous. You really think I could do it? I know you can do it. But listen, you. I don't want that Wisconsin cheese eater moving in on my girl. Glad you're jealous. Sure, I'm jealous. I, um, I gotta go check with Charlie about the receipts. Good night. Good night.
or even ten feet looks high from here. It is. Oh. Lesson number one, never look up. Not even when you're climbing. Yeah. Never look up. Now try it. No matter how high you are, take one look down at the tank. Just one. Then look straight ahead. Shouldn't I watch you try it once or twice? Nope, this is the way to do it. Now look, you watch me. Turn around. As soon as your head touches water, the very instant you feel water, bring your back, pull up like this and reach for air. If you do that, you won't touch bottom. If you ever do touch bottom from real height, you're gone. Got it? All right, I'll try it. All right, you go on out to the end and do exactly what I tell you, when I tell you. All right, look down just once. Look straight ahead. Up on your toes. Deep breath. Now fall forward. I know, but how was the rest of it? Terrible. Now go on up there and do a good one. Yeah, that's true. Hi. What's the need, honey? Meatloaf. Honey, my cup's dirty. So is your face, my dear. But we can get a new cup. Don't you dare grin. Who's grinning? Los abwaschen. We brauchen die nicht mehr. Na los, mach schon. Na ja, ich tu schon. You'd feel sorry for everything that wears skirts. Don't 
crystal for me. But in a fight? Yes, you guess with whom. I don't like it. Whistling for me. Like for a dog. You never let me know I had a plan. You never take me out. You just call for me as if I were your servant. Baby, what kind of a beep is this? You know I'm busy. I don't know when I'm going to be free. Well, from now on you have to find out. You must treat me like a person of feelings instead of... Instead of what? Instead of what you think I am. Baby, I think you're my girl. Anything wrong with that? You shouldn't be so certain. Can't help it if I'm certain. Come on, let's take a walk, huh? No. What do you mean, no? I think you aren't falling for that high diver. I'm not falling for anybody. You're falling for somebody. I want you to arch your back, Martin. You got a service pass, do you understand? Okay. Otherwise, you're doing all right. Come on, it's only 75 feet. <laughs> now, let's see you do a really good one. get dried off. Come over to the tent, I got something for you. top once in your whole life, Willie. After that, it's never the same. There's only one way to hit the top the first time. Right out there where the music's playing and everybody in the whole world is watching. Yes, but... Here. Take this. Go ahead. Just one. Go on, take it. It'll relax you. Your tent and lie down. I'll wake you when it's time. But what Go on, I... Willie. That stuff hit you fast. Six minutes, time to get dressed. Six minutes? I can't frighten. Well, I should hope so. 
If you weren't, I'd think you were crazy. See other cities, other towns, shining like that in the night. They'll be way up here, cool and far away and high, looking down on them, never letting them touch you. This is the moment I've been waiting for. I love you very much. And I wanted to tell you up here, on your first night. I love you, Willie. I want you to marry me. You can tell me later. Now, you're on your own. Music's over. The act is on. Something happened tonight, which makes me very unhappy. Frank asked me to marry him. What? The, the cheese eater wants to marry you? Well, what do you know? Why should you be unhappy? Because he's in love with me, and I don't love him. Well, uh, maybe you should learn to love him. What do you mean by that? That Wisconsin hillbilly should have a good watch stashed away by now. You could do a lot worse. 
But sure. What, uh... You mean about us? Look, we're not going to let a little thing like you being married come between us. If you ever touch me again, I'll kill you. my life. Not only because I'm, I really feel a part of the show now, but because from now on the colonies are not just going to be a team. They're going to be Mr. and Mrs. too. on the sign for Life magazine. Wonderful. Uh, aren't you forgetting something? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Willie, this is Bill Vines. He was combat photographer assigned to our regiment when I was feeling spuds for Company K. She's my new partner. Hello, Willie. I uh, didn't know Frank had such a good eye for partners. Come on, everybody kiss the bride. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stand in line and take your turn. <laughs> All right, next. You're getting a swell guy, all the luck in the world. Thank you. <laughs> no, Grupo, Grupo, you do. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Kiss the bride. Lift <laughs> uh, <laughs> her up so we can all see it, Grupo. What do you want? Uh, nothing, I guess. Just thought I'd drop over and see how you're doing. 
How things are going. They go very well, and you shouldn't be here. Yes, you're right, but... Baby... I never see you alone anymore. You saw me alone. You've seen me alone for the rest of your life. You didn't want it that way. I know. I made a mistake. Yeah. I made it, but... It doesn't mean I have to like it, does it? No. There's nothing I can do about it now. I guess not. Oh, there is. There's one thing you can do for me. Uh, you see, I, uh, I get myself in a jam, and I need a couple hundred bucks. That means you could let me have it. I for haven't a few got days. it. What do you mean you haven't got it? Frank takes care of our money. I haven't oh, got it. That... Thanks anyway. Something else I need. And you've got it. Oh, no, no, no. Maybe I can get the money for it. As soon as I can. Maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. You've got to go. Right. I'll see you tonight. Meet me at the, the carousel. If I make it about 12 o'clock, you'll be asleep by then. Oh, you're cursed. Frank finds you here. I don't know what he'll do to you. I'll take that chance. See you tonight. Hello, Mrs. Colony. Hello. I saw him come out here, you dirty little cheat. And if you ever do it again, I'm going to have to... Well, hello, Frank. Hi, Peggy. See you later, doll. Hello. What's she doing here? Barring threat. I don't like these Sunday afternoon shows. I, I like the lights when I die. Better get dressed. We go on in 20 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to meet the wonder of our show, the fire eater extraordinaire. Captain Snyder, he eats the swords in the way.
little too long after you look at the tank. It's dangerous. I know. Nothing bothering you, is there? No, oh, I just made a mistake. Why should anything be bothering you? Look, Joe, I haven't got the money. I couldn't think of a way of asking him without it seeming strange. Don't you know where it is? No, I never asked. God damn it, you, you don't know where your husband keeps his money. Look, I'll find some other way to get the money. I've got to go back. Mm, you don't want you no, to get away from me. I told you I'd kill you when I will. What's the matter with you? What are you talking about? You'd kill me. If I knocked you down and kicked you, you wouldn't do anything about it. You couldn't, because you're in love with me. You couldn't help yourself. Joe, you hurt me. Believe me, nobody else is ever going to come close to you again except me. Nobody ever. You come back there and you're going to get that money and you're going to bring it to me. And we're going to leave together, you and me. <laughs> together. Go to your tent. Go to your tent! <laughs> Just leaving the show, Charlie. Tonight. If I ever see you again, I'll really finish the job. I don't want no trouble on my show, Joe. You better pack your things. Come by my tent, I'll give you your money. Have a 
start packing. We're leaving the show tomorrow. What are we going to do? I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to the States and buy a farm and live on it. And work on it with our own hands. When you're so tired, you won't have any ideas of playing around. I won't go. You'll go wherever I tell you. Do you think you can move me around like this? Farm animal. Well, you can't. I'm not an animal. I'm a human being. You don't act like one. I won't go. I don't love you. I won't go with you. I hate you. I hate every man in the world, and I hate you most of all. I don't belong to you. I don't belong to you or anyone else. And I want my money. I earned it. You have no right to keep it for yourself. I'm not keeping it for myself. I'm saving it for you. Then where is it? You Why must don't you show it? You must think I'm very stupid. Come on. For all I want is my money. And I won't go with you, and I want my money. You shut up and go to bed! so long. I've done everything myself, my own way. Sometimes I forget that I'm not alone anymore. I'll try to be a good husband for you, Willie. Maybe never. I haven't got an order for the assignment yet, but uh, I think they'll like them. Uh, especially if you'll uh, open the cape a little. Oh, I hope this shows up in the picture. Frank gave it to me today. Real diamonds. Beautiful. Any special occasion, a birthday or something? No. No birthday. But a very special occasion. No, and my assistant and I will be popping up all over the place, but it'll all be this flash stuff, so just play like we're not alive, okay? <laughs> Bye. Mein Damen und Herren, jetzt das Wunder der Wundershow. Die großen Kolonies. <laughs>
anything else? No, no, no. Thank you very much. You've been very nice. I wish there was something I could really do for you. I mean, I really do. No. I think all I need now is a little rest. It was a real nice funeral, Willie. Nobody could ask for any better. Yes. I'm sure Frank would have thought it was a lovely funeral. You get some rest. You'll feel better in two or three days. Charlie. Why did everyone act so strange at the funeral? No one came near me. No one spoke to me. It's been that way ever since he died. Why worry about them? They're nothing but a bunch of characters anyway. As if they think I killed him. Oh, you ought to know better than that. Gab, gab, gab. That's all they ever do. It was an investigation, it was an accident, and that's that. Besides, if they didn't have this to talk about, they'd find something else. I suppose so. Uh, Willie, I've got a little business I'd like to talk over with you. Frank's will. He made it out the day after the wedding. You get everything, Willie. I think it's a little more than you'd expect. Five thousand dollars cash money. Five thousand. Been saving for years for that little farm. It says you'll find it in the top of the trunk, in the back of the mirror. As I'm sort of responsible, I'd like to have you look to see if it's all there. Yeah. All right. See the checks out? No. Frank said there was $5,000. That's what there is. My whole life I've dreamed of having money. I was much more modest in my dreams. 5,000 marks was all I wanted. Now I have $5,000. And I don't want it. Of course you don't. I understand, honey. But Frank wants you to be happy. Why don't you look at it that Charlie, way? Charlie, I really have to get some rest. Sell a lot of tickets. I'll show them to the gang. Poor Frank. Even when he's dead, he makes money for Charlie. Made money for me, too. I got an awful big check for that layout, Willie. You see, people like those pictures. Dramatized death it gives them a thrill, even in a photograph, to see Frank falling. Oh, perhaps. Do you know why they'll come now? Because they'll be waiting for you to fall. They'll want to be sure not to miss it when you do. Has it ever occurred to you, Bill, that people might like to see diving just because they like diving? Not a dive like you make. They're waiting for you to make a slip. They want to see you dead. I want to see you alive. Tell me about Frank and you. Not much to tell. We met, fell in love, just like that. And then we weren't alone anymore. We did everything together because we couldn't stand to be separated even for a single minute. That's why we became partners. We were very happy. Well, at least he had that. No. He hadn't. I'll tell you what he had. 
really did. He picked me up out of the crook tent. He taught me how to earn a living. He made a performer out of me. He loved me and he married me. By way of thanks, I betrayed him. I broke his heart. And in one way or another, I killed him. Did you love this other guy, this you? You take me home, please. Please, don't get out. I feel like being alone. Thank you so much. Sorry to hear about Frank. Were you? Well, of course. I mean, like somebody you know. I heard you were terrific the first time after it happened. I had a good teacher. Yeah. How's Peggy? Peggy? Uh. She left me. Where are you going? Haven't made up my mind yet. Doesn't much matter. If you wanted it, I... I think I could get Charlie to give you an old job back. No, baby. You're doing all right now, and I want you to... I'm no good for you. Charlie to come to my tent as soon as he can. It's very important. Sure. Right away. Thanks. See me? Yeah. Sit down. There's uh, something we haven't talked about. Yeah? What's that? 
My new salary. You were paying Frank 200 and me 125. That's 325 for the whole act, right? Yeah, well, you see, I... From now on, the act only costs you 300. I was thinking around 200, and then maybe a little later... It's 300, Charlie, or I don't go on. And I'm not joking. No, I don't believe you are. And it's settled? By the way, you haven't seen Joe around this morning, have you? Joe? No, why? I didn't even know he was back. He was. Is there anything wrong, Willie? Not a thing. Why? I was just wondering. The way you held me up for that $300 just now. It wasn't like you, Willie. It's going to be like me from now on, Joe. I'm turning smart, very smart. You don't have to convince me. I'll dive like Frank did. I'll do the somersault dive. Gee, that's great, kid, but do you know what you're doing? Improving the act, Charlie. That's what I'm doing. And after the dive, you come to my tent, and we'll talk about money. More money, to be exact. I'm Dominic Heron. Rock Colony. La Sosta Mal. In a somersault dive. I'm Salto Portali. says you're going to be great. It'll take a little while, but you're going to be all right. I was a photographer. 
at that uh, headquarters. I was snapping a photograph of some VIP 75 miles behind the front one day when a flash bulb exploded in my face. I always felt they should have given me the Purple Heart for it. <laughs> I like it. Since you're a little bit sporty. I might even want to, but I can't. You're throwing away an awful lot of years. It might be good for us both. I know. I'd probably be sorry for it the rest of my life. I've never brought good fortune to anybody. Least of all to myself. Are you sure it isn't Joe? Do you still love him? I don't know what love is. out of here all right but she's not coming to frankfurt she quit see she's through you can take that diving power and you can sell it to the junk dealers <laughs> but to tell you the truth charlie i probably won't be coming back i think i have other plans nice plans uh just a minute there's somebody here wants to talk to you just a minute I'm much better. Thank you. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Your attention, please. The passengers of flight 418 from Munich to Frankfurt will enter through gate number two. Achtung, Achtung. Die Passagiere des... Oh, 
don't grow up old. We're very much alike, you and I. We have good things in us. Lots of good things. That trap there. We can't come out. Hello, Joe. I, uh... Oh, yeah. I, uh... Guess I've got a little explaining to do. No. Everything's all right, Joe. Let's just forget it. your tent after the show? Sure, Joe. I'd like to see you. I'm Robin and Heron. Yes, that's one the from the Wonder Show. The Rossi Colony. <laughs> If I were right for you, I would have come back. Joe's here. Did you come to Frankfurt to see him? Yes, yes, I did. Please believe me, I'm not running after you. I just want to be around if you need me. You have to be alone now, Bill. Don't follow me, please. You are terrific. You're great. 
And that took a lot of guts. I couldn't have done that. I mean, uh, go back up there after what happened. Thank you. Uh, Willie. I know what I did was a was a real lousy thing to do, and I'm sorry. The only thing I can say is, I want to make it up to you. You want to give me back the money? Why, sure, baby, sure. But I want to do more than that. Look, without you, this show wouldn't be worth a penny. You know that. And what's Charlie paying you? Peanuts. I can show you how to make some real dough. You know what you should be getting? A piece of this outfit. And I mean a big piece. And I'm going to see that you get it. That's fine, Joe. Is that all you're interested in? Baby. You know better than that. It doesn't work anymore. What's the matter with you? You're nuts? What are you talking about? I'm free of you. I didn't think I ever would be. But I am. Look, baby. I don't blame you for being sore about the money. The but... money? No, Joe. I'm only sorry it couldn't have been put to some decent use. Instead of being carried off to the sewers by filth like you. Now, just a minute. Just hold it. You can be sore, but... But you or no other dame's gonna talk to me like that. Now, let's stop this nonsense. Come here. I won't. You'll do as I tell you to do. Not anymore, Joe. That's all over. If you were starving to death and howling for food, I wouldn't throw you a rotten bone. <laughs> what you're trying to prove, but knock it off. It won't work. You're stuck with me, baby. And you know it. Whatever I am, we're both made of the same kind of stuff. We are not. I'm not dirty like you. When I stole your money, I was hungry. Whatever I've done wrong shames me. But you, you love to wallow in the mud. You've been paid in full. Now get out of it. Get out of here. Get out? You could stand there just like that and tell me to get out? You think, after what I did? Do you think I fixed a bar on price ladder for you to tell me to get out of here? Yeah, I did that. I did it because I couldn't stand to be without you. I did it for us, because we belong together. You killed Frank? No, no, not me. We did it. The two of us, the both of us. Yeah. That's what everybody will think. Yeah. And I'll let them think it. Yeah. Now. Now tell me to get out of here.
Oh, Rocco. 